Hi everyone and welcome to this uh, tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to uh, make a pretty cool animation and I'm just going to play it here. This guy heading the ball in front of the soccer goals. Okay, so let's get into it. Alright, as you can see we've got three uh, elements on our screen here. We've got the man himself, we've got the soccer ball and we've got the goals. So let's put these into a new blank presentation. Okay, let's start with the goal and just copy that, paste it in, okay, and resize it so it's going to fit on your presentation. You can play that to see if it fits. Great then go down and get your player and paste him in now you want your player under the screen or under the stage I should say <clears throat> and then you'll get the soccer ball copy paste that in. If it's a bit big you might need to make it a bit smaller with your, your arrows there. Okay, now we'll put the soccer ball up on maybe above the player on the right hand side of the stage. Okay, now the first thing we're going to animate is the player. Now in 2003 this is a bit different. In 2003 you'll go to slideshow in the menu bar and then choose custom animation in 2007 you see it here but what you want what you really need is your task pane on the right here so let's select the player very important uh, before we add an effect now once you've got the player selected add effect and we're going to choose a motion path it's going to be a custom path and it's going to be a curve. Now start with one click in the middle of your player just one click and then you've got this line which you can drag anywhere we'll drag it up to oh, somewhere along the uh, right hand side of the goal here not on the post but nearby and one click when you click that's the point where your line is going to bend then maybe up a little bit higher and to the left okay and that's where he's going to touch the ball one click again and again the line will bend where you click and let's take it right off the stage and when it's right down here double click to finish one two okay so he's jumping up there all right now we're going to have this start on a click we're going to keep the speed at medium but let's click next to where it says picture 3 here and let's have a look at the effect options okay you should see this window here um, now this looks pretty good so let's just click on timing here and we want to repeat this. We want to repeat this until the end of the slide. So click on that and then OK. And if you play that, you see the man coming up and all right. So that maybe is a little bit fast. So let's take it down to slow. OK, that's a little bit better. So you can see the top of his jump is about here so let's start moving the ball now now just make sure you select the ball because we want the ball to be moving now once you've selected the ball add effect another motion path again custom path and curve alright start in the middle of the ball with one click and again your line will start moving and we want to bring the uh, ball down to very close to the line here maybe up just a bit higher than than this curve 
one click that's where your line will bend and let's take it right off the stage here so when he heads the ball it's going to go right off so double click okay now at the minute uh, the ball isn't going to appear until we do our second click I clicked one time for the man to jump and when I click a second time that's when the ball will come and that's not at the right time so we've still got the ball selected let's see if we can change a few things we want this to start not on click but with previous uh, the speed will change to slow the same as the man's jump and importantly we want to repeat this so let's go down to timing okay and we will uh, choose repeat until end of slide click OK now let's see what this looks like when I click okay not too bad okay. The ball might be slightly in the wrong place, so we might like to move this across a little bit. Okay, you can have a play around and try again, see if this looks any better. That's a bit better. We might even lift it up a little bit more. Okay, maybe even change the speed to very slow. Okay, we might need to move this across a little bit more and play it again. We might change the speed back up to slow. I think very slow was a bit too slow. And click. And after you have a little bit of a play around with it, you'll... Um, you'll find that eventually you'll get it exactly where you want it and it'll start to look pretty good okay there you go hope you learned something thank you